ladies and gentlemen, here we are back again. Back we are again. at Muscatine High School in the field house for what is my least favorite day of the year. Yes, I agree, 100%. Least it's favorite day of the year, no question asked. Now, if you were a smart person, you'd ask, Chris, why is this your least favorite? And it's because this is our last home game with the girls. Right. And that's just always a bummer. Cause y- yeah. I- I'll tell you, you know, I'm going to get cheesy for just a moment here. Uh, a lot of these girls um, I've watched across multiple sports mm-hmm. for years. Right. Right. Um, and they have been an absolute joy to yes. watch. Um, you know, again, I, I know I'm being super cheesy here, um, and I'm not normally. Uh, <laughs> but this group of seniors, um, you know, this group of seniors is really, uh, as the Lancers decide they're going to hit a three wall. Right out of the gate. While I'm being, <laughs> you know, Sentimental here. Sentimental. <laughs> um, you know, a lot of them, uh, these are really the first girls that, uh, well, I shouldn't say the first, but some of the first that we watched all the way through their coll- their high school careers. Right. Uh, on Discover Muscatine. Obviously, we did on the previous. Uh, there we go. Nice job. Riley Seaman, Riley Seaman puts in the breakaway layup for us from uh, Isabel. And uh, it's just been an absolute joy. And I'm, I've am i got a couple things that I want to say later. Um, right. Kind of for each of them, but... Um, it's been an absolute blast. Yes. Um, and for an outsider, so to speak, coming into town, um, they, they've they all welcomed me. Um, you know, and, and I can't thank their families enough. Um, you know, shout out to all the families of the seniors. Um, appreciate what you do for me. You kind of opened your arms and the girls themselves as, as well. Um, you know, I come from a smaller town and... Uh, didn't know for sure what to expect here from, you know, Big Muscatine, and uh, it, it feels like home. Um, so, and that's due to the girls and the families of the girls. Um, so, I really do appreciate it. But now we'll get going into the game here a little bit. Um, Muskies trail five to two. Um, last time they played North Scott, they lost fifty-four to sixty-one. Uh, close game, a lot of back and forth, um, from what I'm told. And uh, Zillig underneath, and she's going to get a foul. I, I, you know, I, that's it wasn't so much with her hand. I think it was when she turned, she got her with her body. So, um, you know, so hopefully the girls get rolling here. Nice pass, inbound pass. Good defense there by Seaman. Nothing more to, uh, she can do. Norris Scott coming out with a press. Little Kind of nonchalant press. Watson drives, kicks it out to Zillig for two. Watson with the assist there. That's my Mufasa. I'm going to miss her in softball for sure. I'm going to try to talk her into that, but that'll be our next event we get with these girls, I believe. Is softball correct? We don't do track. Yeah. So... Outside three, long three. That's off North Scott. Oh, I thought it went off North Scott. I thought it went off number 10. Moyer, Moyer, Mar. Inbound and underneath the basket is North Scott. Another nice break towards the basket. Rebound, Seaman. Gets it up to Lerma. Dribbles all the way in. Nothing there. Decides to come back out. Thought about getting it into Zillig. That's going to be off. Number two from North Scott, Jaden Jada Nybauer. I think her brother wrestled for North Scott, if I remember correctly. His name sounds familiar anyway. Inbound to Watson. Long pass to Reno. Reno struggling to get open. Zillig thought about a long three there. Seaman says, okay, I'll take one and make it. Nice job there, Seaman. So we're tied up at seven here. Somebody get back here. Nice steal there by Watson. Seaman picks it up over to Watson. Up for two. Watson for the Muskies. 
Nice trap there. Steal Lerma. And she's going to kick it over to Seaman. Oh, couldn't get it to fall. The press is uh, giving North, North Scott some uh, issues. Oh, got away with the carry there, I think. But Oh, nice cut there underneath. Watson bringing it up. Tie game, 9-9. Nine nine, four minutes left in the first quarter here. Another thought about three. Lerma dribbles in, kicks it out to Watson. Over to Zillig, no foul there. Zillig drives it in, no basket, but does draw the foul. No shot, I guess. The basket didn't fall, but she does draw the foul, and that will be North Scott's first. And the team's first into Zillig. Kicks it out to Reno. Long three off the little bit there. But they've been trying to get her open and uh, to get her, you know, she's been really hot as of late. Underneath rebound Zillig. Watson brings it up the right-hand side. Crossover there. Lerma, backdoor cut, Seaman. She got a little bit too far underneath there. Good idea, but turn around and take a charge. Muskie's on a four-point run here. Kind of game of runs right now. Reno over It's a deadly bloody game. <laughs> Is there going to be a red job. wedding? Good job, Watson. Did you see that right there? She didn't wait for the ball to come to her. She went to the ball. And otherwise, if she doesn't do that, that's a steal, and they're going the other way for an easy layup for two. Gee, crickets. Reno. We're down to three seconds left on the shot clock. Lerma hustling there for the rebound. Does get it in. That's Seaman for two. And she'll go to the line for a possible three-point play. Oh, shooting two. She was shooting. Okay, I thought she made the bucket. I'm sorry. I was looking down at my stuff here and missed that. Briley. Admiral steps up, makes the first. I should just left the points down. Shaw coming in for Zillig. Give move Fossa break. Second one, not good. Off the back of the rim there. So, nice. Oh, come on. Shaw picking up a foul there. I thought she was straight up, but uh, must have got her with her body because it sure wasn't her hand because the hand was all ball. Um, it sounds like tomorrow from my uh, source that I have, that it sounds like tomorrow they're releasing uh, regions where the girls go, sub-state uh, games. Well, I don't know what they call it for basketball. Is that what it is? Regional games? Sub yeah. You know, I don't know. It's, diff it's different for every sport, I swear. Um, but sounds like from... Uh, my inside, my inside source, Mama Hag, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like uh, it comes out tomorrow. Why it's so late, I don't know, because 1A, 2A, and Seaman 3A. from the top of the key. 1A, 2A, and 3A are done already, but, I mean, for some reason they don't have 4 and 5A done. So. I wonder if potentially the number of cancellations that might have schedules some, Yeah, that might have something to do with that. it, too. And there are a few couple, there's a couple big games left. I mean, at least conference-wise for sure, but. Reno in the corner. Shaw dribbles with her left hand, takes it up, and gets it by herself. Nice job protecting the ball, taking it left side, using her body a little bit. Oh, Reno got under, Watson with another steal. Man, I tell you. 
That kid can play defense. Shaw for three. That's why she's called the glove. Three for Shaw. Assist from Watson. Pick her up right here. There you go. Jump ball, jump ball. Oh, timeout called by North Scott right before the jump ball situation. Be just a 30 second. Muskies have a 17 to 12 lead with a little bit over a minute left in the first quarter. Um, might give you a chance to say something about one of the seniors if you want. Yeah, you know. Or are you going to wait a little bit longer? I'm going I'm to wait just a little bit. Okay. That's I want to I want to actually collect my thoughts. We had a little technical difficulty here getting launched, and uh, so I want to kind of take a take a half a pause, <laughs> catch my breath, make sure everything's pretty much running and the way it should be running. Yeah, <laughs> yeah at least close enough. Well, they were ahead of schedule a little bit. Um, it, right, and you of know. course, the one time they're ahead of schedule is the one time like. <laughs> You plug the cameras in. Right. There's no signal. What do you mean there's no signal? There's no signal. <laughs> and, you know, here's the thing, folks. Uh, for those of you that, that may not know me other than uh, my magnificent basketball, baseball, softball, nice steal, football, Shaw. color commentating skills, and volleyball now. Now volleyball. Uh, I, I'm kind of the tech guy at Pearl City Media. Um, and here's the thing. When in doubt, if something's not working, you know what the first thing you do is? Turn it off, turn it back on, Gone. and guess what? It worked. It worked. Perfect. Did I try three wires before I did that? Yes. Of course. Oh, Seaman just let her a little bit too far. Good backdoor cut there by Reno. And uh, Seaman just let her a little bit too far. Seaman. Over to Shaw. Seaman drives in. Can't get the roll. Kicked out. Rebound. Watson. What do we got? 22 seconds left on the clock here. I did get the privilege of speaking with the refs for just a little bit before the game. Uh-huh. Uh, I did inform them that if they need it, we have replay up here. There you available go. for them. There you go. And, and they said, we well, that's kind of a long way to go. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but, right. but, but it's worth it, I promise. Yeah. It maybe is. I could try and put it on the big screen. He goes, <laughs> oh, yes, maybe if you did that. That would help. Well, you could do, I said, because then everybody could see it at once and help you. He's like, yeah, definitely. <laughs> we could just go by what the crowd says. I was in. You were in. I don't think that's what's going to happen, though. I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen. Watson, way to get your hand in there. Another three off the Ooh. back of the rim, and that'll do it for the first quarter. The Muskies quarter, will take a 17 to 12 lead to start the second quarter. Yep, and we will be back in just a moment. Superior laser precision cut quality for a perfectly manicured lawn. Let's break this down in science terms. This grass is cut good. This grass is cut not as good. Hustler turf. Mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Have you heard the littlest things can make the biggest difference? Every day, bigs and littles are connecting in our community. So it's time together can look a little different, but the goals and outcomes are the same. Littles are building confidence, forming better relationships, a sense of belonging, and achieving big goals. But there are more kids just like me who are still waiting. Will you join us in making more matches possible? Support Big Brothers Big Sisters.
Does it get any better than that, folks? Does it really? No. I don't think so. Let's take a look. It's so nice, we're going to see it twice. And once Thanks. again, it just looks like effortless for us. Well, that's because it was in slow motion, Toby. Yeah. <laughs> everything looks easier in slow motion. Everything buddy. looks easier in slow mo. <laughs> you know what? Maybe after the game, we'll we'll have Annie come up here and be like, yo, so we were watching that steal and cut down the right side of the lane. Yeah. That looked really easy, was it? <laughs> right? <laughs> looked like you were jogging. Oh, shoot. Muskie's up to a 27 to 14 lead over the Lancers. Oh, we have, oh, yeah, uh, Kathleen, yeah, we had a, a little bump on the the audio there. Should be back. Okay. Um, I think I just had, Look I think potentially one of my, my best comments coming in on a on Facebook. What's that? Uh, Allie Walsh, Walsh says she's from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Oh, boy. <laughs> Older oh boy. sister of Macy Reno. Oh, boy. Really appreciates what we're doing. Absolutely love it. Uh, and, and to say this, uh, your sister's an absolute blast to watch, which I'm yes. sure you know. As uh, Seaman goes in, a, wait, that's, I hate it when I do that because I pick up the stream behind and it looks like it's live. Live. Uh, Allie, I have a question. We have a question for Allie. She's from Ann Arbor. Right now, I'm wearing a Michigan sweatshirt. Oh, jeez. Should uh, I play Hail to the Victors at halftime? Uh, That's what no. I want to know. No, 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 no. Only answer that counts is Allie's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what'd she say? You never did say what she said. What who said? What Allie said. I did. She said she appreciates oh, getting to watch what, it. Okay, okay. And she's that's an older okay. sister of Macy from Ann Harbor. That's like okay. <laughs> that's well, I thought exactly there was some more to it. I didn't know. No. Okay, oh, all right. No. Okay, okay. Shaw going to the Shaw, line. Shaw to the line. <laughs> Does make the first one. All right. You know, one thing about her shot is the amount of arch she puts yes. on her shots. Which, again, as we've all talked about before, that helps slow the ball down. And yep. the slower it's going uh, horizontally when it hits the rim area, the more likely it is to go in. That's why you see a lot of great shooters have high arcs. Right. Uh, amongst other things. But amongst other things. <laughs> Nice, nice. Make two and go take a break. I like it. Yeah. That, that works. That'll work for me, too. So, uh, nice. Kicked it, but. Which. Kept it down on this side which of the court. I learned you know, in volleyball is completely fine. Yeah, in volleyball it is, but in basketball it's not. Up the middle, that's how you break a press. And there's two. That was a pretty good press break right there by the Lancers. Yeah, which, but I'll say this. The, the press has definitely still oh, gained way more way than, more than that. Yeah, Zillig drives in Ooh. short. Look like you got a little crisscross there. Yeah. So let's start with Yusuf Uh So obviously we watch her on the softball field as well. Correct. Uh, and she's just, and this is, I think, probably one of the biggest compliments I can give. She's just a machine. Yes. Right? Like, She's just nice pass there. Good yes. She's there. just there. She just does her thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and, and you know, it, she may not be the biggest scorer on the team, but, but that's not that's not her game. It's not. You know, she's the I mean, one uh, all the way around the horn. <laughs> a softball reference, obviously, right? Uh, that does all the little things it takes to see a team succeed, right? You know, getting on the court. Like on the floor, going after the loose balls, playing defense all the time. Right. There's rarely a time where there's a loose ball or something that if she's on that half of the court that she's not there. Right. Right. And that's extremely enjoyable to watch. Yes. But the other thing I like is Zillig takes it down with the left. Seaman, I, I don't know if she was skipping, hopping, or what exactly <laughs> she was doing there, but... She got the rebound, got it back up without a problem. Um, but, but back to Lerma, you know, that's the kind of basketball, the kind of softball that we want to see the young girls play. Right. And I know every time I've seen her, whether it was you know last year at basketball because I didn't get to go down this year, uh, mm -hmm. but like when they're signing for the younger girls, her face just lights like, up. It does. And uh, so, Isabel, thank you for 
everything you've done for Muskie basketball. Correct. And softball. And yep. obviously, we've still got more Some softball. Time. Yep. But, um, you appreciate know, you. Yes, definitely. Um, and like you were talking about the signing, I was down there when they were doing it, and and the way she How did you get down there and I didn't? I don't know. I just happened I, to be <laughs> down there. And, <laughs> and <laughs> How does that make sense? And uh, I was down there and, and you know, she was intera- with I- how she was interacting with the kids oh. and and the kids were interacting with her and it was just it was really neat to see. I remember down at the softball diamond, she was like down on her knees, you know, like eye level with them right, you yep. know, while she was signing. And she just, was talking, was, you know, you know, with, with them, them, not yeah. to them. You yep. know what I mean? And, yep. and that's that's rare <laughs> in this world. <laughs> that's got to be close to five. Yeah, this press is... Watson being pesky. This, this press is really... Great job. Oh, really ah, so close. Into North Scott. Oh, got a trip there by Lerma. Just slid over just a tick late and drew the foul. Shaw checking in for Lerma. Long inbound pass there. Getting a nice pick for three rebound Seaman. <laughs> 15 points. Oh. Answer. Michigan pays my bills. Iowa grad here. So it's complicated. <laughs> no, it's not complicated. <laughs> but of course, hail to the victors. Go blue. Oh. Wow. I mean, I can't really. I mean, now that my coach is gone from that team, nice outlet up to Reno. Tries. Oh. oh. Couldn't quite get the roll there. Sometimes you'll have to, Allie, ask the softball girls uh, what happens when you play hail to the victors down at the Muskie <laughs> softball field when they're behind. When they're behind. And when you just take Reno, over the PA. Get that. Get that. There it is. There it is. Macy Reno. That girl has come on the last two and a half, three weeks. Yep. That that's what we expected all season, and it's great to see her hitting that. Right. Steal from behind. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So much fun. So yep. much fun. Yep. Uh, let's just say this. Say somebody ha- oh, who has. Oh, come on, Reno, two in a row. Oh, uh, so close. Back the so rim. close. We got oh. a foul there on Seaman. Seaman kind of came in underneath from behind, so that's a under the back. Right. Um, under the back foul. Uh, let's just say somebody maybe in this broadcast has the ability to, without warning anybody else, take over the entire PA system at the softball field. Pretty much. Um, <laughs> uh, say the girls were behind and they were not very lively. Say hail to the pictures just started playing in between innings Yep. before they came up to bat. And, Toby, tell everybody what happened. Um, it actually worked because they came from behind. And, <laughs> and, and how many times in a row did it work, Toby? Uh, was it three? It was three, yeah, as a matter thought, of fact. Yeah, I thought it was three. Yeah, because we did it three times. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, like I said, I mean, I'm no, I don't have anything against Michigan. I really like them with Harbaugh. Um, I've always been a Harbaugh guy, of course. I mean, that comes from being a 49er, nice. yep. you know, and uh, – and I've always enjoyed his coaching style, and and I'm a, I'd rather see Michigan do well than Ohio State anyway. Well, that's yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean, or or Penn State, just or just let Ohio State fall off the edge of the planet. Mm-hmm. Makes the first, makes the first. Now, if Brian Butler's out there listening, he will definitely disagree. <laughs> he is a monstrosity Buckeye. I'll never forget when we were playing travel ball with him, and uh, we had little stickers on our helmets, and I just I couldn't figure it out for the, the longest time. And then they were like, "Oh, we're Ohio State fans." I'm like, "Oh, that's where the stickers come <laughs> from." <laughs> Super little nut. <laughs> Hi, I'm a nut. <laughs> Inside the Zillig, over to Reno hot- for another three. At least the Hawkeyes made up, but it's got a beak. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, so let's turn to another senior. Okay. 
I want to go to Annie Zillick next. Annie Zillick. Mufasa. <laughs> yes, Mufasa. <laughs> Seaman for three off the front of the rim. Lerma. Th see, there it is right there. there. Yep. Doing the work. Rena. Oh. Oh. Got caught on her foot. Um, so, Annie, uh, obviously, you know, volleyball, basketball. Yep. Annie has a confidence and... Um, I mean, I'm not sure. I, I don't think it's added. I mean, it's a little bit of attitude, but a not a little bit, but not not like in a bad way. Right. She knows who she is. Right. It's obvious. Oh, right. Yes. Um, when she's on the court, she's like even right there. You can see her helping run the run the court. There we go. Great job. Look at that. I talk about them. They do great things. Right. Great job, Amy. Um. But. The way she has learned to use her body to generate power, right, is ridiculous. And like, especially like it's really apparent in volleyball when you see her go up to spike. Right. I, I don't know how all that power, yeah, gets. I mean, she's tall and she's got like. I mean, I right. get that, but it looks like even more than that. Right. And she does it. She makes it look graceful, powerful, and easy right right exactly and i know it's not and the only way that happens is a lot of hard work and dedication to what you're doing and you know you watch her on the basketball court it's the same kind of thing right mm -hmm. um the way she works underneath she's able to use her body wisely right use her size and strength to her advantage correct and she's a five that can bring the ball down the court yes right and not like, very many people can do that life's good right, right. yeah um and I'll add a little bit there to Zillig. Um, you know, at first, <laughs> I thought she was kind of a shy kid, kind of quiet. Um, maybe that's because she didn't know me. Uh, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> she's, I, <laughs> it always gets me to smile. Always gets me to smile, no matter what. I mean, she's smiling. Um, I love that about her. Um, mom and dad, wonderful people. Yeah, um, absolutely. Seth you know, yeah. Um, and that's just that's what I love about Annie. <laughs> and now, oh, Seaman, Seaman for, for three. three. Oh, not uh, quite. quite. And that'll do it for that. That takes half. half. We got we got to finish this a little bit before we take a break, and we'll we'll maybe even talk about the girls some more during halftime, because mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure you guys have all seen plenty of commercials. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, uh, the other thing that's great about Annie is with Annie comes Maddie. Correct. And Maddie is at home right now watching, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, she watches every game. <laughs> she sent Eric, who sent me a picture of her. Right. Uh, one of our very first games, we put up the player of the game. Correct. And Maddie, I get this picture of Maddie next to the TV, TV. with her cousin Annie on the screen, screen. You know, and like, again, that just shows what these girls have. And it's right. I, I'm going to use the comparison of Caitlin Clark, right? Okay. Because of the inspiration and things like that. Right. And it's not just Caitlin Clark. Right. It's girls like our seniors right. that do it as well. Right? Yeah, I mean, right. you influence the girls so well. Because I, I guarantee you, and, and I don't know, Maddie, which we're going to get to that little bit in a minute, because I, I got hosed by my email system. Mm -hmm. So, the... Uh, sorry, Al Hilton confused me. What was I just saying? You were talking about the cousin. Yeah, oh, Maddie. Yeah. Maddie. Mm -hmm. And she was on TV. Here we go. She was on TV. And, yeah. and, and she gets influenced by the other oh, girls. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, the girls and how they have a Caitlin Clark factor of their own. Right. Right. And, you know, you could call it the Michael Jordan factor, you, you know, back in the whatever. day. Yep. How many kids grew up wanting to be like Mike and want to be oh, like yeah. Caitlin? I, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that Maddie, Maddie, and feel free to send a message or send a message over if I'm wrong here. But right. I'm going to guess if you grew up to be like Annie, you'd be a pretty happy girl. Oh, right? you And definitely. I think most everybody would. Yeah. Right? And that's mm -hmm. that's a huge compliment. So the other thing that I've got to say, uh, Maddie, I have to absolutely, tremendously apologize to you. And we will somehow figure out a way to make it up. Because Stephanie sent me an email mm -hmm. uh, last week sometime. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get it. It went into my spam. and Because I, I found out that actually somehow... 
all my emails coming from the school district mm. were going into my spam. Uh oh. I don't know what what triggered it. Right. I, I'm guessing it was probably Tony Lokensole because <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to blame him. Blame for everything. Tony. Blame right? Tony. But yeah. no, I mean I did like because right. it was weird because I like I hadn't heard from a couple of them. I'm like, man, that's unusual. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was checking spam for something else, and I'm like, I saw that, and then I scrolled down, and I saw a couple more, and then I saw one from Stephanie. And at the last home game, mm-hmm. Maddie was actually here. She was here. I saw her. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stephanie had sent me an email asking if I'd be willing to meet her. <gasps> and of course. Right. Obviously. Right. Yes. Like that yeah. would have been flipping. I would have put a headset yeah. on. We could have yeah, talked. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like, absolutely. Yeah. I didn't see it until like this weekend. Yeah. And I was like. Oh, I, my I goodness. Was, oh, my goodness. I was. She would. Could you imagine her on the air? I know. I know. Well, here's the so thing. Much I, fun. I think we. I mean, there's still time left. I mean, yeah. Technically, mm-hmm. if Maddie's out there somewhere near a computer, and somebody can get me a way to contact her, I could send her a link. 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 Yeah. And she could dial into the broadcast. Right. Exactly. I mean, that'd be. It'd be pretty cool to have her um, on. But again, that's that's what musky basketball is about. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And in this case, you know, the Zillick family and extended families, it's just an example of that. And that's why I love doing this. Right. Um, I, I'll be honest. When it comes to this part of what I do, n- nobody has it better. I, I don't. Nobody does. No. I, I thoroughly, it, thoroughly enjoy this. This is, and, and you know, you can, the girls love it. We always hear it. You know, thank <laughs> you for doing it. You know, yeah. then they, they tease us every once in a while about some stuff here and there. There's some that have graduated and still mess with us. <laughs> I know, right? But, um, you know, it, it's just, it's so much. I mean, you, to watch these girls grow in the, the two years that I've done this now, you know, it, it's it's fun. You know, and, it, and, and it's unique. And like I said earlier, you know, when I come from a pretty small town and, was honestly kind of nervous about doing this at first and <laughs> you, you were you yeah. know and uh you know and those guys you know those families Siemens and Zilligs and you know Schroeders and I can go on and on and Hags and you know they they made it feel like home you know mm-hmm. and and it's it's I just was oh, know, they never make me feel like them no oh, stop it <laughs> I think they like you more than me. But um, there's probably a lot of people that would say that though. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, if if um, you know, and and I and I've known some of them. I mean, I've known the Siemens, you know, I mean kind of sorta, you know, through softball. Um, you know, most of the girls I know from Muscatine and their families are, are all graduated and and like I said to get in with these guys so to speak. I mean, mm-hmm. I just can't ever be any more thankful than than what they've done for me so far so and hopefully it continues well i wasn't going to tell you this till after the broadcast but you're out okay no no just kidding just kidding okay i mean i wouldn't surprise me (laughs) i mean i got kicked out of one but (laughs) um so while we go through halftime here and uh the kids try and make a half quarter. They're all paying a dollar to do this, and yeah, I don't remember which they, nonprofit it goes to. This one, I think, is um, last night was for I thought the Ronald McDonald House. I thought I'm, I'm no, not sure, Katie, go, but Katie, I don't. Go, I Katie, go, oh Katie. yes, come on, Katie. Is Katie Hansen? Come on, Katie. Oh. Um, um, and I'm gonna go out on a limb. I don't have official information yet. However. The Special Olympics basketball game versus first responders will be coming up. That's got to be sometime yeah. soon. soon. Yep, and I'm pretty sure I know who has exclusive broadcast rights to that thing. No way. You better believe it, baby. No way. You better believe it. Oh my goodness. We were there last year, last time. We got some film, you know, all that fun stuff. We got to watch Tim get pelted with <laughs> saying, hey, you, "Right, it was great." But That's I think. Awesome. Willie and I have been talking. I think, I think we're going to make it happen. Oh, that'd be great. Now, uh, so we got two seniors left. Uh, right, Briley Seaman. Yep. I, Briley. There's a reason we nicknamed her the Admiral. Correct. Right. Um. And for me, you know, we, you know, okay, it was funny, you know, right? Older sister, younger sister, you know, right. seaman, navy, right. whatever, right? I'm, I'm sure you guys can figure that out without me explaining it, but 
for me, Briley, watching her, she always has a poise about her. Mm-hmm. Even when things aren't going the muskies way or right. her way and everybody else's, you don't see it. Now, I don't know what she's saying on the court, and I'll be honest, I don't know what she says when she gets home. Right. But I'll tell you this. From up here, she looks unshakable. She does. And you're right. I mean, that's the one biggest thing that I see about her is she may not know for sure what's her favorite, volleyball, basketball. You know, she did have a stint in softball. Mm -hmm. But she gives you everything she's got and then some. Mm -hmm. And she does not seem to get flustered. I want her to get flustered sometimes. I beg for it, you know, up here. Right. But, but she it's, just, and it's. I think it kind of speaks, and, and Zillig sort of has the same sort of a thing, right? You know, hers is more like a. It seems like a more let's call it like powerful confidence, and right. like uh, you know, uh, and, and again, this is all just what we perceive as right. I see them on the court, and as I just watch them. Mm-hmm. I'm not speaking to what they may be like off the court or anything like I. But Bradley's is more like this calm. Correct. self-centered confidence and like right i'm gonna go out and do my thing and i'm gonna do my thing and i'm gonna do it well right and and again i'm sure that there's frustration like it's right it's not yes it's but like if she she either is able to turn it inside which I, i'm gonna have a guess it motivates her right um but again it's just fun to watch and the other thing is like if you watch your shot there from the free throw line, it's so technical. Yes. Like it's it's yes. like textbook, and so you can tell she drills. You can tell that she's worked on it. And you know, here's the thing, folks: a basketball shot isn't a natural no like motion, right? Like normally you want to you know flop your elbow out, right. and like all these other things, right? Um, so when you see somebody who shoots that technically that well, that repeatedly, you know it's something that they've made a conscious decision to yeah. do. And you know, I think that did, did he just rattle off the seniors? Yeah. I'm not sorry, Al. Um, so that's that's Briley, right? Uh, and again, just a blast to watch across every sport we've ever covered right. her in. Um, one thing I might add real quick is she cares as much about somebody else succeeding as she does. Yeah, you can tell. And, yes. And, and that's, I should have said that. Right. You know, and that, that's the only thing I would add mm-hmm. other than what you said um, is she wants everybody to succeed. You know, there might be a point in a game where she's got to take it over, but she wants everybody to mm-hmm. su- she's just as happy if Reno makes a three or mm-hmm. you know you know she just wants everybody to yeah, be involved it's a J.J. McCarthy function yeah I mean it's, it's maybe just we should start going to J.J. for the rest of the yeah game. J.J. there you um, go J.J. and then uh, as we start the third quarter the Muskies lead 40 to 20 and Wes decided to change the other camera <laughs> while okay. nice uh, rebound there by, by Zillig oh but she lost it quick Defense by Seaman. Underneath basket, good for the Lancers. And so number four, uh, Avery Schroeder. Oh, boy. Uh, Riley all the way through, gets the foul. I'm going to try not to cry on this one. <laughs> um, <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, <laughs> Avery, jeez. Uh, watching her is... Man, it's um, not intensely. What is the word I'm looking for? I had a word earlier. Um, assertiveness. Yes. There you go. Personified. Like, yes. she's not ever out of control. Right. But she's aggressive. Correct. Right? And that makes her a heck of a lot of fun to watch, whether she's Roman center field. Right. Great job with the trap up there. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Seaman just poke. pokes it right away. Like, ah, you know what? You don't need that here. Poke. You don't need that. Right. Um, And, you know, again, volleyball. She's also kind of like 
the and again I'm going to say quiet leader from up here. Right. right. I don't know what she's yelling at people down there. Right. Because I have a feeling you know there's. I think they all yell at each other in a positive way, not like yell yell like right loudly talk at whatever. Right. Um, yeah. But she's very again poised, mm-hmm. aggressive, ridiculously athletic. Yes. And understands how to use it all. You know. And to be able to be a. Four, six, ten, twelve sport athlete, whatever she is. Right. However you want to count them. Oh, nice left handed layup. Nice there, left handed layup. Yeah. yeah. Makes it 42 24. With the Muskies up with seven minutes left in the third. Um, and then, geez, obviously we all know. Oh, nice pass across court. Oh, very nice. That went off North Scott, didn't it? Okay, but nice. anyway. Uh, you know, obviously we know she's got some health issues. We've got some joints to work on work and get, on. get working again. Um, and, I, you know, last year we had a similar thing mm-hmm. with she who can't be named. Mm-hmm. And, you yeah. know, your, your heart breaks for him because yep. you know, you know, here's the thing. You know, oh, nice drive by North Scott down the yeah. baseline. Uh, you know they know that it's not the end of the world. Correct. But it sure feels like it. Yes, Like, it I can only imagine what it would have been like for me back then. Yeah. Got a block up top. First foul for the second half. Yes. Which I like. Oh, no, pardon me, second. Second. Um, and so, Avery, um, just whatever comes out of the knee thing, mm-hmm. whether you whatever you decide to do, you're going to do well. Just keep doing oh, everything yes. you've always done. Yep. And uh, I'm sure there's times where it feels okay. Right. To not be playing right now. And there's other times it's probably the, you know, but just know this. It's all going to be okay. Right. right. Like, um, and I know you know that. And I'm just right. being a sappy old guy here. But um, it's been great to watch you and, you know, across everything, even like FFA, like all of it. Right. Like, it's just, it's cool. So, um, again, you four, thank you um, from all of us. Yeah. Not just me and Toby, um, all of us that are watching at home that have watched you for a long time. Um, thank you for being the Muskies you are yep. and will always be. Yes, definitely. And now go finish pounding this one out. Yeah, finish pounding this thing out. Um, for for me on Ave, um, I've known her family for a long time. I mean, in a Three long, long time. Oh, nice, nice rebound, rebound there. Um, you know, I, I grew up. With showing calves with her aunt, um, you know. Um, Whoa! I do have a nice big block by number yeah. two. Um, I do have a history with their family. Um, her like, grandpa. You got a beef with them? No, 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 not bad. Um, <laughs> by any means. I mean, um, like a beef, like a cow. No, Cause, no. Because um, you're all like FFA folk, right? Right. Yep. And um, you know, her her grandpa, um, you know, knows me really well. Goes back to he always comes into the store and says hi. Um, she is probably I've done a lot of sports over a lot of years um, is the closest thing I have ever seen to my kid I mean my daughter you know and she reminds it's it's like a little bit taller <laughs> oh right right, right, <laughs> but, right but yeah yeah but yeah, yeah, she, I see what, yeah no I see where you're going I mean she reminds me so much of Haley it's 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 like, and I'm not trying to take away anything from Avery's, you know, but. No, just, right, it, right, right. And maybe that's why I'm going to miss her so much, you know, because um, she does remind me of Cause, Haley. Because your kid bailed on you and yeah, went, to, you know, went to Drake. Went to Drake blah, blah, to play blah, blah, softball. And, and, yeah, 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 yeah. But um, <laughs> that's. <laughs> poor Empty Nester. Well, right? not, not Empty Nester, but. Right. But um, I was like, you know, and, and, and her, you know, and she's another one of those Lerman ones. Watson. That wants everybody to succeed. Um, yeah. She's got a huge heart. Nice, oh. nice underneath. Really nice stuff. Zilla go over to Seaman. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, once again, another one of those kids that welcomed me in and uh, isn't afraid to talk to me. Um, and I am. Yeah, exactly. And and I love her. I mean, I do. And um, for it. But other than that, um, you know, she's a great kid on and off the court. Uh, has a lot of opportunities in front of her, whether it is sports or not. And uh, keep your head up and keep keep pounding away, kid. You got you mm-hmm. got a bright future. Is all I'm going to say there. But um, yeah. So now we'll get back to the game. 
<laughs> I got one last thing to say. If any of you sophomores, juniors, freshmen are sitting down there, you go back and watch this game, please take a minute and truly think about the things we said about these four girls and think about how that applies to you every time you step on the court. Right. Definitely. Okay, now I'm done being cheesy. <laughs> Zillig just busting up to get the ball. Did some. Uh, man, that's Zillig. Oh, Shaw tried to get it into Zillig, and Norscott steps in front. Got a 17-point lead here for the Muskies. Oh, boy. Deep three. From about, what, three feet behind the line? Yeah, that was deep. There we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Larry, we were missing a basketball game. Yeah. I'll, I'll admit it. Yep. Well, it's a 17-point game, it, yeah. too. <laughs> so. Sometimes there's only so much you can say. <laughs> but um, nice little Euro in there. Couldn't get it to fall. Yeah, they, there is a basketball game. I want to make sure the girls know we right what we think about them. So. And there is a basketball game going on, but... And think about what it would be without yeah. those girls. You yeah, know, well, and also, you, you know, yeah, it's not the radio. <laughs> so, anyway, no, Larry, just, just, it's all good fun, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, it, you know, the Muskies are having a really good game. Yep, um, uh, all the way around the horn. Yes, everybody's everybody's playing well. Just, I, and, I kept, I, I, the abs. I mean, steals and assists and rebounds and passing and great pass there, Shaw. Yes. You know, I mean, obviously, this is a game coming in that the Muskies would, you know, on paper expect to win. Right. Um, and, again, as we uh, – are what are they discussing? What are they discussing? Interesting. That's not something you see very often. No. I really wish we could mic up the refs. Um, oh, Zilla just missed it. Oh, good – Good way Shaw, to nice recovery. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she took like a half a little baby step, just enough to lose yep. your position. Yep. Uh, um, and she even smiled and laughed, you know. I yeah, mean, you know, sometimes it happens. And once again, that's she's. I think she's finding her place. You know what yeah, I mean? Absolutely. You know, um, she's come a long ways from the beginning of the year, and uh, I'm I'm impressed for her future down the road here. At Muscatine, you know you're going to get another year of her, mm -hmm. um, you know, and you and you got a good group of girls coming still. I mean, there's there's a good group down there. Seaman will inbound it now to Lerma Nor Scott with their press. Nice. I just I didn't know. I thought she. I didn't think she did it at the same time. I I thought it was, you know, bang bang and and. But he had yeah. a little better angle than we did. Or he had a worse angle. One well, of one of the two, but I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. One of the things we, you know, kind of talk about where the program's going and, and what this year's been. Uh, because, again, I mean, obviously it's not over, but it, it kind of is for us. Right. Um, you know, Courtney Jones, uh, the first-year coach from West Liberty, mm -hmm. uh, been thoroughly impressed. Um, oh, my gosh, yes. The poise that the girls play with, the ability for them to have put an entirely new offense in place, basically, mm -hmm. or entirely new system. I mean, they, well, I mean the press, you the know, press, everything, yeah, the, everything. You know, getting the girls in press shape, you know, and like, and they are, and they run it, they do it, and uh, I think that's that bodes well down the road. Nice pass to Watson. Great rebound by Zillig. Blocked. Ooh. And that did go off Zilla because she just touched it right as it was going out. She's arguing. She's arguing. But, yep. Ooh, ooh, yep. yeah. See, see, there's that. Cut. He gave her that point. It's going that way. <laughs> You're not going to win that argument, Annie. You're, You're not. <laughs> You're not. And that's hey, that's the frustrating part. Even if you're 100% right. Right. You, it just doesn't matter. Long two. Two points. 49-36. Whoa. Good little crossover. Tried to get it into Zillig. Oh. 
Oh, great defense. Oh, great, great job by Lerma standing her ground. Yeah, I mean that was that was. I think I think she called. Did you call a timeout? Or yeah, they called yeah, timeout. Okay. Yeah, I they think I think Eastbell thought she was getting foul. a getting a foul called. Full timeout. I mean, she was standing straight up. Yeah, no, there, she. You know, I yeah. mean, and and if anything. Uh, Definitely would have. I mean, if I think if she falls there, instead of staying straight up, she gets the foul. She, you know, yeah. she you gets know. the charge. Yep. And uh, but instead, North Scott will have possession on the side here with a 36-49 game with a little bit over two minutes left uh, in the third quarter. Seems like the third quarter is taking a while. It 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 does seem Maybe, like it's taking a while. You know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, because I mean, we we were able to carry over a little bit from halftime talking yep. about the seniors. Yep. And, I mean. But one other thing that, you know, is I, I kind of look down the tail of the tape of this game as we kind of think about how we got here to a 13-point mm -hmm. lead. The Muskies' effective field goal percentage, and I, I, this is something I kind of always go back to, is just kind of like a little bellwether. Right. KPI. You know, they're at 43%. Uh, North Scott's at 36 So, you know. As long as you don't have like a crazy turnover number or something like that, right? Or really out of whack rebounds, that's going to bode well for winning the ball game. Seaman with a steal, just picked it away from her. Oh. And she tries to go up, no foul. Probably, I'm not. I'm sorry. I, I oh, that's probably a good no call. Yeah, I would have said it on both ends. I, I think it was a good no call down there with with uh, with Briley and uh, you know when she went up and. And uh, Wait, who was that? Huh? That was on them. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was on them. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And um, so is that is that five? No, yeah, that's five. That's five. So we, are we shooting or not? Do we keep changing? I mean, so it should be a two-shot violation. Yeah, that's yeah. five. Okay, now yeah, they got. Yeah, yeah. yeah yep. this is man. I'll tell you this, folks. If you're watching at home, I'll tell you. I always used to think, oh, the one and -on one it's so easy. Everybody right. should just know. Right. But what's funny, and, and this is from watching high school ball and from running a scorer table, it, kids travel ball, mm -hmm. it, it's it's not as easy as it looks. Right. You'd think it would be super easy. Just look right. at the scoreboard. Right. Well, sometimes the scorers will put something up a, a blip early, and right. like it's the next one, or like change of possession. Right. So it, there's always just a little bit of... Well, weakness. there's human error involved. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, it... Shaw, great job. Great job. Two more points for Shaw. Thirteen point game for Shaw. Another, like I said, good quality game out of her. And if, and if you can get thirteen points off your bench, you know, coming in the game, I mean that's huge. Ooh, risky pass inside. That's a three off the back of the rim. Rebound. Shaw kicks it up ahead to Seaman. Who takes it and can't get it to fall. Muskie's up 51-36 with a minute and a half left in the third quarter. Works it inside. Zillig steps in front there. Knocks it away. Nice little defense there by Watson, just making that shot difficult. And that's what she does. I mean, she just that's I mean I told her I told her I told Dad the other day, I said, I just love watching her play defense. I could just watch her play defense all day. You know, she makes mm -hmm. everything difficult on everybody. I mean, passing, you know, dribbling, shooting, you name every part of the game. I mean she pesters you and pesters you and tell you get frustrated and make a mistake. Another missed opportunity rebound there by Zillig. And we have, do we have a foul or injured player? That's not good. Hopefully she's okay. 
Hopefully it's just a minor tweak and nothing serious. We're going to take a look at her. Well, she's putting weight on it, so that's a good thing. Seaman bringing it up the right hand. Does a little over the head pass to Shaw. Loses it. Oh! Oh, wow. Rebound, Seaman. Tipped by Reno to Seaman. Watson, three. Off the <laughs> glass. <laughs> glass. Off, look at her. Did look at she, her face. She was like, oh, my God. Did she call it? <laughs> no. <laughs> she did. Okay. Then. <laughs> off the glass. That was. But the look on great her face defense. was classic. Great I mean, defense. It, it was great. That, go out of bounds. that was classic. Oh, I wish I would have had that. Yeah. Look on her. Oh, my goodness. That was priceless. Seaman drives to finish the quarter, but didn't quite make it. Muskies take a 54-36 lead into the fourth quarter. Um, we'll take a quick, quick break, break and be right back. Almost like it knows when you can least afford. Ah, another clogged drain? Lucky for you, Rivo is always standing by. With multiple master plumbers on staff, Rivo not only handles your home-related issues, Rivo will also diagnose and design large-scale commercial piping systems. Family-owned, reliably honest, remarkably affordable. Complete kitchen and bath home improvement technicians. Because Rivo won't rest until your plumbing problems are gone. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. MPW is committed to keeping Muscatine's lights on, water running, and our customers connected to the world. We monitor all utility services day and night to ensure reliability. Whether it's routine system maintenance work or an outage response, our crews work on your behalf. Responsive 24-7, 365, in the field, behind the scenes, around the clock, MPW is always here. I'm proud to be a part of the system control team. I'm Jennifer Phelps and I am MPW. Uh, ooh, yeah, yeah, great hustle there by Lerma. Great touch pass by Watson over and the And the one. And the one. You know, there take, so take many. another peek at that touch pass into Seaman down the right hand side. A scoop hook swooping Ooh. shot. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, there was three things there that happened that were amazing. I mean, first off, Isabel didn't give up on the ball. Yep. You know, you know, and got it out of the corner. And then the quick touch pass to... Great, yep, great defense by Zillig there under You know, um, quick touch pass to Briley. Briley makes a shot and gets fouled. Three things. Bang, bang, bang. I mean, you, you, you got to... I mean, guys, just watch what basketball. these girls do. I mean, it, it's just really good basketball. Look at little Watson fight through that screen down there. Dribble penetration in for two. Seaman. Great job just running through the press from the center of Ooh. the court. Zillig, nice rebound for the putback. In oh. and out. Seaman, Seaman rebound and draws the foul. Two offensive boards, one possession. That's that helps really good stuff. Win ball games right there. Yes. And like you said, you know, earlier in the year, when you get those offensive boards, it just it creates opportunities plus if you know, it just gives the defense another. They're going to make a mistake. Yeah, you know, you've, you've said that a couple numerous times. Or and well, it's 
it's just uh, the law of large numbers. Right. Right. Like, if you have enough shots, eventually you're going to get there. Right. You give them enough seconds on defense, eventually they're going to make mistakes. And one offensive rebound can mean, you know. Right. Another, well, obviously up to 35 seconds. Right. Ooh. It's kind of like in football, a team that can control the clock. The clock with their offense. Right. She lost that on her own. Musky ball. I Un found it. Yep. It was right over there under the hoop. Lost it, and she found it. That's perfect. Seaman. Down to six minutes left in the game. Muskie's up 58 to 38. Oh, great idea. Just a little short. Late. Yep. Get back, Easy Bell. She hustled to get back, but. She's not afraid to use her body. I love it. Ooh, Reno in the corner. I thought maybe she would take that, but. And to Briley. Oh, picked from behind. What's, I mean, what's, do we know off the top of our head what the record is for amount of points scored in, by a girl in, in one game? Uh, nice three, Reno. Not off the top of my head. I'm 95% sure it's Jenny Knoll. Well, yeah, that would be a good and guess. And I'm with another steal. pretty sure I can find it here real quick. I was just curious because, I mean, Seaman's looking at 28 right now. I'm sure it's, I mean, if it's Jenny, it's probably close to 40, but. It's probably like 612. <laughs> I will have that for you momentarily, sir. I was just curious to how close. Oh, no. I was wrong. I, I was wrong. Nice rebound, Watson. It's Julie Wonder back in 2010. Wow. 37. Yeah. I mean, she's within reach. Yeah, she's with. I mean. Well, and heck, if she's going to get to 37, she might as well just get to 42 40. and outscore her. Yeah, and be done. Yeah, and outscore them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we can't let them score anymore. A little foul on I think this defense can do that. Yeah. Just don't want to turn it all up a notch. Yep. Let's go. Well, come on. We're, we're, we're chasing something tonight. So 37. What was it? Is there a top five? No. Uh, just a record. So, yeah, she'd need, she'd need 10 points. In five minutes. 37, 28 to 37. Well, she'd need nine to tie. Yeah, nine to tie. Oh, just pop it. Yeah. <laughs> Lerma for three off the right-hand side. I mean, I don't mind that shot. She was no. wide open. Nobody covering her, really. No. <laughs> Reno gets up for the block. Oh, yes. I'll take it. Yes. I'll take it. Little Reno gets a block. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, folks, if you could hear, if you could only hear our student section. That was pretty good. You got swatted. <laughs> Long three. Oh, Ooh, nice shot. Nice shot. Up ahead to Reno. Kick back to Watson. Dribbled and in there was Lerma. Ooh, getting Ooh. a little handsy. Getting a little handsy there, but it was a little high for Zillick, but back the other Watson, way. Watson, that was a really good job trying to use her body to push yeah. her down closer to the baseline Sorry. without following her. Right. Uh, it didn't quite work, but I mean that's that's so we what you we're, teach. Yeah, we you know, I mean, four minutes left, still uh, sitting with a thirteen point lead, and I I can't read lips from here, but I think she's saying don't let up. Yeah, I mean that's that's the thing. I, I don't know what else a coach could be saying in this situation. 
I mean, don't let them back in the game. I mean, you know, we got to continue to uh, keep pressing. Just and Keep and doing everything you did to get here. Right. And, uh, I mean, we're doing so many good things right now. And, you know, and it's good for these girls because, you got yeah, they have one more game on the road before regionals and uh, kind of a, you know, to get this, to get a win. And right now, I mean, it, it's kind of convincing right now. Um, and avenging a loss from earlier in the year, mm-hmm. um, you know, it'd be huge for these girls. Good job. Getting it across the court, Watson to Reno, who thought about a three there for a second. Over to Zillig. To Reno, cutting there was Seaman, but covered very well. Helper. Ooh. Nice job, Watson. Another steal added to Watson's total. Briley, I don't know if she just tripped or got pushed or no foul there called as she drives in. Kicks out to Seaman. Three. Come on, baby. Ah, yeah, it's just short. Reno with a steal. Lerma. To Zillig. Out to Reno. Oh, you were open, kiddo. A little floater behind the basket, and she does try to get the ball and picks up a foul. Yeah, take the three. I think coach is telling her to take the three. We've got a substitution, number 10 coming in. That would be Bella Moore. Oh, baseball pass. Turn around. Oh, that's our ball. I thought Reno touched it last, and they went to try to save it and went off of North Scott. Back to Lerma. They do get it in. Ooh, a little spinner Ruski there. Timeout by Coach. 30-second timeout. Didn't want to lose the possession there. Muskie's up 61-48. to A little bit over two minutes left in the game. I mean, that's 28. It's got to be a career high for Briley anyway. I mean. Oh, I would think so. Yeah. I mean, that's a monster game. How many seniors are there? Four? Four. Yeah, four. Three on the court plus Avery. Plus Ave. Mm. Well, uh, inbound pass here, Muskies. Seaman will take it. She's one on one here. You got to take that to the house. I mean, they're not. They're letting them bang down there. I mean, so I think she's probably a little bit more. You know, you could call those fouls, but I, I think they're they're being consistent with it. You know what I mean? Uh, mm-hmm. So I mean, well, and that's all. You know, that's all you can ask for. Yeah. You know, if if nice little cut there by Reno. Picked away by North Scott, but out of bounds. Two 
two minutes left in the game. Muskies lead 61 to 48. Zillig for three, in and out. Gee, many crickets. And that's not good. That's the bad side of letting them play. Yep. And she went down hard. I don't know what it is, knee or ankle or maybe just shock, I hope. You know, no, she's not putting any weight on it. She's vertical. She's, but there's nothing on that ankle. And that's, no, nope, that's, is that the one? Does she have a brace on that one? I can't tell. Looks like she, hand. yeah, looks like there might have been like a support on it. Nice. Man. I'm not going <sighs> to speculate, but. Nope. It was a left leg. Yeah, we know that much. Yeah. And no pressure applied. But Miss Miss Calvert has her, so Yep. She's in great hands. She'll just like do her little magic yep. whatever it is she does. She'll be out in like ten seconds flat. So. Yeah. Wow. I she hates to see a senior go off like that. Yep. But Yeah, I mean I'm assuming they're gonna be getting curtain calls here pretty soon. You know, um, Reno for three. Oh, put that in. That a kid. That is the way. Shaw underneath. Lerma bringing it up. Look at her just battle it. And, and that's like she's oh. went off her went off North Scott's foot. So we're okay. Settle down. Look I, at Zilla. I Look think at she her. did get stuck in right mode though. Yeah. I think she, she's like, I'm gonna go right. And I mean she can go live. Right. She has to use her right hand. Nice pass. Nice shot. Really good nice pass. pass. This is a great confidence builder heading out. Down to 48 seconds left on the clock. Three in and out. Rebound Shaw. Looks like we're going to get uh, yeah, Ella Maynard, L.C. Lewis in. Call timeout so we can get these seniors a curtain call. Well, yeah. Yep. Good call, coach. Timeout. Well. Get the seniors a curtain call here. So it looks like, wait, what? Wait, oh, and I'm done? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Her face is classic. Wait, what? Oh. oh. Get him in. Look at Reno. Look at that. That's that hustle. Is absolutely Up 16. Hustle. And nice block there. There we go. We're going to bring it up. Ten seconds left. Just Wrap it up. Yep. Put a nice little bow on it. Let the <laughs> seniors sit down and relax because they're getting old. Yep, they're getting yeah, old. Yeah, save those knees and yep. hips and elbows. Yes. Exactly. we got a couple games left, but that's their last home game. Yep. Uh, Muskies win going away 66-50. Yeah. And, again, big shout out. Oh, hey, there you and he decides, oh, maybe I'll come back out. Oh, yeah. oh you know, whatever, I suppose. All right, there, yeah. here, I'm here now. I think she went to go check on Briley. I think she, yeah. yeah. So. so, again, uh, this is obviously our last girls broadcast. Um, thank you all for listening. Obviously, we got boys left, but. Um, yeah, obviously. Yeah. So, uh, thank you to all four seniors. Uh, again, it's been a blast. Absolute blast. Briley, Annie. Isabel and Avery. Avery. And so player of the game is not just one person tonight. It is all four yep. of our seniors. Um, if you see one of them, tell them, hi, great job, thank you, and tell them to go finish the job because they've still got some more to do. Yep. Tell me anything else before we call her a night? No, negative Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, 
You actually won't hear me. We'll be back Friday night. Correct. However, we will not be me. Oh. Yep, so he's going to have to carry the load. Ooh. Because I will be... Am I going to have somebody here to do the camera work? And oh, all yeah. the setup yeah, yeah. stuff? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I and I'll be around. I'll just... Right. So we've got the, the uh, RDFC Art True Performance right. uh, Friday night and the Chinese Consulate General's luncheon and stuff like that. So right. I'll okay. have to be down uh, attending to some of that stuff. But I will be watching from the auditorium. Okay. So don't screw up. I won't. All right. <laughs> On that note, everybody, thank you again for watching. We really appreciate it. And uh, thank you to everybody on the court. Yep. Thank you to all the staff here at MHS. And we will see you Friday night. Okay. Yeah.